thought about the issue of corruption. And one of the things that we know that Nairobi suffers is cartels that run the county government. How would you deal with the cartels? You know, first on corruption and cartels, you need a decisive hand. That's what lacks. That's what complicates or compromises. When you say decisive... That, 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 that there were cartels in the city, then the current governor came with a set of cartels from Western, where he was in some factory. So it only enlarged the cartels. When, when you say he came with his cartels, elaborate that. What do you mean I by mean, that? I mean, we know of many things that we know that garbage collection are people who are connected, who are doing business where he was. There are a lot of things that happen in this city that are connected, and you've do, had it. Do you it. have specifics of people who I you think know? Because when you put I, a blanket I, I, and say I, I, people... I think, I think when you look at the garbage collection service, mm -hmm. in particular, the company is associated with somebody who worked in that factory. All right? Mm -hmm. Remember... In Mumias. Remember the individuals... Remember Nairobians are paying for garbage fees. Mm -hmm. And the council is also paying for garbage fees. So it's double collection and there is no garbage collection. Right? In our plan of things, we want to decentralize from City Hall to 17 constituencies as centers of service. That's our plan. Right? So that we do away and with how, all how this. How will that work? How will that work? It will work very well. Because when I raised this question in a debate, the current governor said, oh, we have sub-county, you know, offices. Mm -hmm. It's not an issue of office. It's an issue of services. I would like to see fire engines in every constituency. I would like to see modern markets in every constituency so that we can take care of our, uh, you know, uh, traders. I would like to see garbage collection in every constituency vehicles, huh? I would like to see maintenance of roads department in a particular constituency. Okay. Right? So, so the question so that when we decentralize, because even revenue and planning, I would like to decentralize from city hall annex to the constituencies. All right. So that we can have uniformity of services. So we are devolving further in our plan. Mm -hmm. Right. Which means those cartels that were hanging here for the city of Nairobi can't hang you'll scatter them with 17 centers of service. Okay. We will scatter them, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. They will not be able. So how will that work? Because if you look at it, if, if we use devolvement as an example, and it has been said that what, all we have done is devolve, say, for example, corruption from the central government to the county governments, wouldn't this be a replica of that in that we are all, all you'll be doing is moving the center of the monies from one I, I know, central place to the constituencies and not dealing with the cartels? How will you I, stop the cartels? I, I know there is fear of that when you devolve, you devolve corruption. But when you have small centers of service, they are more efficient than having one centralized, and you can be able to deal with it. It is easy. It is not difficult. At the end of the day, the cartels have godfathers, and they are the top, right? I assure Nairobians that top will not be there as a godfather. That's but number you one. still haven't told me how you would deal with the cartels in terms of dismantling I them. I have told you. One is decentralizing. I told you if you decentralize, mm -hmm. you scatter them. Mm -hmm. All right? Whatever deals they strike, they strike because they do for one unit as Nairobi. When they are smaller units, you have more eyes looking at it. Right? Mm -hmm. So we will decentralize and scatter them. They will not be there. I told you on water, I'll have a tracker on the pipeline. That will eliminate those water cartels. Mm. Just a tracker that says you can't block here. If you block here, we get to know. That we will do it. Okay. Because, you see, what lacks in Nairobi is services. Look at where the fire engines are here today. You can't get a fire engine with the traffic as it is. Can't get a fire engine. That's why I'm saying, let's secure the city by devolving services, and having proper mini city halls in each constituency. We will have services. Mm -hmm. What Nairobians need are services. If we can get those services, we'll be up and moving. Okay.